Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Every day, day in and day out, like a smack at it. That shit goes hard, cuz. On 50-50 goes hard. But in a menudo style in direct fashion, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there, we're about to get into it. We're going to talk about this lightweight war that's happening. You know, I've been hearing a lot about it. And, and quietly as it's kept, I think... Um, I touched on this close to a year ago when I started my first channel. I think I was the first one to throw a spill out, out there about it, um, about the Sacramento Zillas. Now, for those of you that don't know who the Zillas are, they're an offshoot, a clica off Oak Park, right? In Oak Park, you have Fort Dav, you know what I mean? You have the Ride Zillas, the Zillas, and um, they blurred them lines, okay? They blurred them lines from hip-hop, gang-banging, some real ones, man. They're doing real things out there in the streets of Sacramento. For those of you that don't know, Drillamento is on some real shit, man. They're out there drilling their real life. Sacramento is not the, the city to be played with. Capital City. Now, I'm hated in sack, right? And I already know this. Um, but at the same time, it's because I speak the real, I speak facts. Um, nothing but respect for the city of Sacramento. But at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, um, I'm going to tell it like it is. Like Aaron Neville. You feel? Tell it like it is. I'm not playing, right? Now, trip. Um, what I've been hearing lately is that the Zillas are lightweight getting into it with the Northaniels, okay? Not only on the calles, on the streets, but in the penitentiary as well, in the California Department of Corrections. And I've talked to a couple homeboys that are incarcerated, that are fully functioning, and with that business, and they told me, in fact, yes, um, shit does go down from time to time, you know, with particular groups. Now, I've been incarcerated for several years, and so I did time, and I know that um, when it's on, it's on, G. You feel me? When it's war time, it's not snore time. There will be no sleeping. It's on and cracking. Everybody will be uh, strapped up and ready for whatever. See, we can get it on in any type of weather. You know what's fucking on? And, and it's like that. Um, but it stems from the streets. See, when you have beef on the streets, for the most part, you get locked up. You get incarcerated. It's a whole different world. Different things are happening. You know, um, there's a lot of business being handled. There's a lot of uh, rules and regulations. And, and the political makeup of prison is totally different from the Calles. See, what happens in the Calles doesn't count in prison for the most part, unless Valtos that are in that position say it does. And that's what it, and that's what it is, man. You're going to adhere to whatever the big homies say, plain and simple period, Sasuke. But don't, hey, don't make them bend it and don't put them in it. Because Sasuke, that's not their business. Sasuke, they're just going to tell you how to proceed. And in that fashion, lace you up, give you the education. And Sasuke, here, hold one of those. I'll pick with a guy on hand to your business. Um, but what's been going on in the Sacramento streets is this clique, the Zillas, are kind of going at it with everybody. You know, Oak Park for a lot of years has been notorious. They've always had that shine. They've always had that, that, that respect and that name out there. I remember even being young and incarcerated in CYA and, and NRCC in Sacramento. When I got there, the Z not the Zillas necessarily, but Oak Park, that hood of Bloods, they're actually Sangres, were the deepest hood of, of, of Africanos in NRCC. And I remember there was a few Crips from the Garden Block and a few Stockton Crips in Saskia. They were catching the blues. This was back when Crippin' and Blooding was in a real fashion, in a real way. The wiggle was absolutely real. Vatos were going at it. So I was getting, colors, colors. Yes, colors was real. And they were going at it. Okay, the Crips being the minority up north at that time. And the Oak Park Bloods being the deepest. And of course, you had to sprinkle in Del Paso Heights. And, and there was a couple, the Highlands. There was a couple other uh, uh, gangs involved in this war as well. Um... But the Zillas are, are something new, okay? Maybe not necessarily in the last couple of years. They've been around for about five, six years, I think. But um, they're wiggling. You know, they're out there in Sacramento. What makes them so popularized and so popular and mainstream is that you got a lot of rappers out there shouting out Zillas. You got Mozzie, of course. Um, and then we all know about Zilla Zo, rest in peace. You know, one of Mozzie's, Mozzie's best friend that actually got killed um, right after they made uh, that song, Just Telling the Truth. Okay, so a lot of people that don't know the history into Sacramento and their politics probably will never know. I don't know 100% exactly what goes on in Sacramento. It changes daily. It changes day to day. But I do know for the most part, the Northanials and the Bloods coexist. Okay, there's a loose alliance there. There's love for each other. When you're in the city of Sacramento, man, like I said, they've always been a little bit different. They've always wiggled the way they want to wiggle. It's their business. They're on Gilligan's Island doing their thing, man. Ain't no suckers over there in Sacramento. Like I said, they'll drill you um, to your noodles fall backwards. 
period. And that's just how Sack carries himself. Um, but I've been hearing about Norteños versus Zillas. Now, I do know of one story where um, it has went down in prison. They actually laid the yard down. And is this a, a, a statewide thing where it's all, they're all on fucking, uh, basically fucking, so all eyes on me. It's on site. I can't call that like an al alcoholic. But what I can tell you is in one particular place, um, the Norteños did get off on the Zillas. Okay, you wouldn't think that these Zillas would be deep enough uh, to maintain a yard. And usually they're not. It ain't going to be like that. Like I said, they're an offshoot. They're one clica off of Oak Park. So it's not like there's going to be 20 or 30 of them on a yard at any particular yard at any particular time, besides probably the county jail in the pod, in an active pod, or the branch, which is basically the farm out there in Sacramento. Now, of course, there you're going to see a lot of them. Oh, yes, indubitably. They're going to be holding it down for their town and for their crown, the Sacramento King shit. Um, but you're not going to see a lot of them in state prison um, in one particular spot. That's just not the way it goes down. Unless they're Fresno Bulldogs or Sureños or Norteños alike, then, of course, you're going to see big fragments of these groups. But as far as the Zillas, one particular offshoot click of a gang, it's not going to happen. Okay, they haven't garnered that much attention from CDC to be doing that. But I guess there was a melee that did ensue. And a lot of people are taking it for Norte versus Zillas. Is it on and cracking? Is this a war? Um, lightweight. Lightweight. And I'm going to give you the history and the rundown on why it is a war. Why it's cracking. Um, there's a author named Uzzy Marcus you know, out of the city of Sacramento, um, who in fact was a Norteño from 36th Street, Franklin. You know, was he an established Norteño? I can't call that one, but I will say that he used to hang around with the homeboys. He used to maintain out there. He was functioning. His brother was a Norteño at one point in time. Um, so they were out there well known. They got a big family, a lot of familia, and people had respected them. And, you know, he was just a youngster and he got down like that. Well, what happened was eventually he started to get into the rap game and catch a buzz. His name was out there buzzing. He was getting into a lot of rap beef with other rappers that were established out there from the other side of town. And being out there from South Sac, Iraq, and being out there from, you know, the Oak Park area, and just the area that he was out there from, um, he started to gravitate towards one side. Now, we know the Africano presence in Sacramento is thick. They always have been. So I forget, always will be. But there's a lot of Chicanos too. There's well-established gangs. You know what I mean? You got BC 36th Street, Wadiwa Franklin Boulevard, of course, Oak Park Norteños, you know what I mean? 14th Ave, you know what I mean? Uh, the Centro. You got a whole lot of uh, wiggling out there in the city of Sacramento. You know, it goes on and on and on. Barrio Gardons. You know, a lot of these old established hoods that have been rocking for a very long time. If I missed your hood, this fence on homes, I'm not here doing a hood list. What I'm doing is giving some, some background on, on this exact particular story. Now, Trip, Manudo, right? Um, this guy, Ozzy Marcos, running around with 36th Street, Frank Lawn, handling his business. And then he starts to get into the rap game and starts gravitating more towards the Africanos. Because the Africanos traditionally have been the ones doing it out of Sacra concerning music. You know, all the way back from Brother Lynch Hung, Mr. X-Rated, Doc, you know, uh, uh, Miss Marvelous was stopping in her steel toe. She was headed for a murder show, Sibo. You know, back in the days, the Kripas had it on lock. Sasuke, garden block shit. You know, fill him up with slugs, fill him up, fill him up to his cranium. They were doing their thing. I still bump them daily, X-Rated. I was just bump right now, I'm bumping Gorilla Pits. But I was bumping uh, uh, X-Rated on the daily. Brother Lynch Hung, you already know I was down with that season of the sickness. That guy even got involved in some sickness, sickness and shit. That's okay, I got incarcerated. Anyways, that's just the way it went down in Sacramento. The Crips held it down for a long time. But somewhere along the lines, it gravitated towards the Sangres getting in the mix. Of course, Stars Up, you already know what it is, man. Cash Money Lavish D is holding it down. Um, a very big part of Sacramento, the King of Sac. And then you got Mozzie, man, who's making uh, money on top. He got money giving money piggyback rights. He's making a lot of money. He just signed big deals. And several other individuals like Briss, Uzi Marcus, and other rappers out of the city of Sac who are really doing it. And there's so many more, you know, that I can't even name or I don't know their names, but such can't bump their music. Um, but I can't call it. Um, and Uzi Marcus was right there in that mix. Of course, like I've said in several of my spills, it start, the hip hop game and the gangster game out there starts to blur lines. And you got motherfuckers that are real drillers, really out there killing people, smacking people, are also in the rap game. So it starts to cross over and it starts to mix and intermingle. And so you got Vato's going crazy. I think my mind's going crazy. They're doing that. Um, so the Vato Uzi Marcus starts to gravitate more towards the Africano side because that's where the feria is at. That's where the doors have already been kicked down. Um, and people start to think that he's going over towards the Zillas, that he's starting to, you know, he's starting to shout him out. He's starting to uh, 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 
put it out there. And at this time, he was having a real heavy beef with the Vato Young Briss, right? Of course, Briss was over there um, on the other side of town, man, and the beef was real. And of course, Briss came up short, man, and he was actually shot and killed about a year ago and uh, and left to die, you know, in a car. It was a it was a it was a chase. Um, he got shot and things happened. You know, I wasn't there to call it, but at the same time, I'm gonna go by what I've seen, what I've heard, and what I've read. Um, and whatever led up into that, allegedly, that's their business. That's Sacramento politics. You know, what I mean, that's neither here nor there. It's not my shit. But um, people were were throwing the blame on Uzzy Marcus. People were pointing fingers at the Zillas. People were pointing fingers at Oak Park, saying that they had something to do with that. Now, man. Um, from what I heard, and I've heard the exact details from people that were actually in the area, uh, it wasn't like that. Okay, it wasn't like that. I'm not going to put that on their plate because I ain't no fed and I ain't getting down like that, right? But at the same time, um, people talk. The streets talk. You know, the streets talk, so people start to feel some type of way. Irregardless of that, Uzzy Marcus was looked at as a prime suspect in the streets, maybe not from law enforcement, but in the streets, and people were hating on him and putting his name out there and, and slandering his fucking character, now, him starting to kick back with the Zillas, it was, I was heard that he actually went to the county jail in Sac Sacramento, and I've, I've sat in Sacramento County Jail. So I said, I ate that bowl of soup that they give you with the sandwich. Yes, indeedy. I've starved all the way to late night, you know, for that dinner. I already know what it is, man. I was in pods in Sacramento. Done did time in Sacra, right there downtown. So you come out, there's the Greyhound, all that. I know about all that, right? Um, so uh, it's real life with me. Um, so I know that when he went in there, of course, he was going to get put in GP, or, or the S and Y pods that they have, you know, the, uh, and then you got the Southerners in one pod, you got North active Northerners in several pods. Um, and then they function with the Zillas, right? So, um, always traditionally the way I seen it was that the Zillas function with the active Northerners. That's just the way the Sacramento County jail does it. And whereas the stars gang and the enemigas of the Zillas actually function in the active pods with the Sureños. I could be wrong. So that's good, but I don't think so. Um, so, when you have these Norteños looking at the situation, you know, and they don't like to become involved in too much situations that don't concern them, especially when it's like with the Africanos, it's their, it's not their business. You know, the loose alliance has always been there between Norteños and Africanos up north. Traditionally, everybody knows that. But at the same time, over the years and now we're in the future, things have lightweight changed. Vatos are getting off where they're mad at on anybody. It's EBK every day, all day to the day I die. Right. They're tripping. Um, so when you got uh, uh, this Vato throwing around saying he used to be a Norteño or he wasn't, and this, this is too much for Norteños to adhere to. They're not feeling this. You don't just fucking uh, become a Norteño one day and Sasuke a Sangha to the next. That's not how it's ever been. Sasuke, not in the history of man, you know, that I've known. You can't switch up, um, period. So um, what's going on is I said it about a year ago. You know, where uh, Frank Lohn and respects to fucking Wario Frank Lohn, respects to Bad Boy and all the other hitters out of Frank Lohn, uh, real ones, definitely a real Wario that's been established for many, many, many years. Um, there was a clica, you know, that's they run hand in hand right there with Oak Park, man. They're real close to the Oak Park Bloods, man. They got a lot of love, a lot of respect for each other. Um, a lot of the youngsters, man, started to cross that line and start claiming sangre. They were claiming zillas. OK, so it looked like for a second there that the Wario man, that the body was actually folding or that Vatos were going that way. Of course, that was not to be the case, man. Frank Lone's always going to be established and always hold it down. But of course, when them lines are blurred and Vatos are going over there kicking with the Zillas, what is one to think? You know, it's a even though it's an alliance. So so I've heard um, it starts to look like the bloods are overtaking the Norteños, which I don't think will ever happen in any city and especially not Sacramento. Um so Vatos on the other side are saying, look, watch out, the Vatos are switching up. They're flipping this, this, and that. Now, of course, this is getting back to the, the righteous, active Norteños who are not feeling that at all whatsoever. It's making the carro, the ranflote, it's making it look weak, right? And weakness is not in the agenda of the Norte, period. Never has been, never will be, period. Um, but at the same time, um, this is what's being out there. This is what's being put out there. Like I said, I did my own spill on it. So let's get, because on the outside looking in, yay, yay, that's how it was looking. You know, like, damn, bro, Frank Lone is actually fucking folding. They're ending, and they're going to all become zealous. So I get what? Isn't it ugly? Isn't it made for... for oh, yeah, my Stevie Wonder shit. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Of course, I was lightweight wrong in that, in that, uh, that fucking, um, that analyzation of it. You know, that perspective of it. It's not all that. Um, the North, they will be the North, and they will stand strong no matter what. So what you're having now is, is Vatos from the Zillas, um, 
in order for the Norteños to establish and say, you know what, fuck that, we're not part of that organization, man, or part of that group, um, there's been some beef going on. Okay, there's been a lightweight war that's cracking off. To what degree of war, I can't call it. A melee is a melee, a riot is a riot. That's very distinctive and it's two different animals. Okay, so okay, one's a bobcat, the other's a lion. Wow. You know what I mean? And that's just the way it is. Uh, for anyone that's ever been involved in either one, I could tell you because I've been involved in both. Um, they're two different type of things. A melee is just a lightweight three on three, five on six, whatever the case may be. Vatos are getting off. It's a quick one. You get maced up, slammed, dubbed on your head, Sasuke, thrown in your cell, and you're like, Sasuke, let's do it again. Repeat. You know, stop. Look, listen, learn. Don't get it twisted. Young lay shit. You're ready. Now, a riot is different. A riot is something that's ongoing. It's continual. It's big. Everybody's involved. So it's good. you get involved even if you're cruising. Like, da, 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 da. Everyone's going to be in, in, involved. You know, it's a riot. You know, people are rioting. But the, um, but these, these wars that are going down, man, there's been several attacks in the Sacramento County Jail from what I've heard. I've heard that, um, you know, where traditionally, like I said, the Zillas would function with the active Norteños on them same pods and not necessarily function, meaning that they'll work out with them and kick it with them and all that. You know, it's possible, quite possible if you know about them from the street, Suski, you got a little love for them, Suski, you might trade a salt bar or whatever. Um, but what's happening now is the Norteños are taking flight on the Zillas and vice versa. I don't want to make it look like it's just one group handling their business and the other group's just folding like fucking a napkin. Charlie, man, but Vatos are getting put on their pockets. Oh, quite indubitably. They're handling their business on both sides and Vatos are taking flight on site. And this is not because it stems from the streets. Charlie, it has nothing to do with that from what I heard. From what I heard is someone disrespected someone uh, while incarcerated. And the Norteños thought that if for no other reason these Vatos got to go, they can't function simultaneously or side by side in the same pod with the Norte. Um, and that's just how it is. Once you're put on the spotlight, once uh, it's a green light on you, and you ain't got that love no more, Sasuke, you got to go. Oh, yes. You got to go, right? And I'm sure that the Sangres feel the same way. These Zillas, man, they're going to hold their own. They're established, like I said, in Sacramento County Jail. But as far as going to prison, will there be ongoing war there? I mean, if someone has a lightweight beef, you might tell, hey, hey check it out. Come on, them Vatos over there in Sacramento. Whoop de boop, boop de boop, boop, boop. And then something might happen. But you got to understand, in prisons, a different, uh, a different, then now that's a tiger. You got lions and bobcats and bears. Oh, my. And then you got tigers, right? And when you got the tigre over here, um, prison's different you know it's not like you're just gonna fucking remove a sangre or and and, and nothing's gonna be there's gonna be no repercussions charlie it will go down the whole yard will go down because all the africanos stick together for the most part and of course the raza does the raza thing uh continuing like it's been done now a little bit different with the send of hostility so that's good uh, the surrender might even get involved they might be like sold up fuck it da, 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 da. Sold, right so you just don't know because i haven't been there so i can't call that but as far as this war between the Zillas and the Norteños, it's more so happening in Sacramento County Jail. Okay, it's more so happening there. They're dealing with internal Sacramento politics in there and shit's happening daily. Now, as far as in prison, like I said, they might have had one little skirmish in a reception or something. I can't call that. I know people were saying they got off in Tracy and uh, I know Tracy's been closed for a while. So I, don't, I can't see how that happened with Tracy being closed. It's been closed now for several months. Um, so if this did happen, it's an old story, um, but Tracy uh, has been closed, you know, so I can't see that happening. Now, it could go down in other prisons, meaning if you get a group, maybe three or four Zillas arrive at one time. But like I said, this isn't a prison based organization. This is a street, a street clica from Oak Park Bloods. And um, I'm sure eventually over time, man, everything's going to work out. Like I said, there's a lot that goes into their politics in Sacramento that we don't know about. And we're not trying to fucking feel or hear because at the same time, it's none of our business. Um, but it is a lightweight war that's going on right now in the Sacramento County Jail, the North Angeles versus Zillas. That's a fact. I got a homeboy that's a northerner. I've talked to an Oak Park blood and he has told me, yes, Simone, bro, if it's on, it's on. It's a lightweight on site, but it fluctuates from day to day and pod to pod, depending on who you are, who you know, and what you've been doing. Um, of course, if you're a hitter and you're really in the mix, Vatos are trying to get you off the map because so it's good, you've been establishing too much and doing too much. That's just the way it is in life. But anyways, yeah, as far as the Zillas and the Norteños, two dangerous groups. I'm not going to take anything from anyone. So it's good, especially not the Norteños. You already know what it is, man. So it's good. You know what I mean? Had love for the Huelga bird. Um, the cause is real <laughs> and still going and going and going. <laughs> so um, the Norteños are going to hold it down. If you get on their radar uh, in, a, in an established stronghold that they have and, and, and you're pushing that dope rhyme, man, and you're trying to do too much and they're not feeling it, so that's good. They're going to turn your fucking CD-ROM off. 
That's just how it is. Uh, as far as the Zillas, like I said, they're well known out there on the streets. They're smackers, they're hitters. They're establishing for their little clica and they're real mainstream right now because of Mozzie and several of these other rap cats. But at the same time, man, they're a hard card to be dealt with, man, because they're they're down to handle their business as well. Anyways, with that being said, man, um, we'll play it by ear. We'll watch it as it goes. It's the street politics blurred in with prison politics. Shit happens. I like to stay away from the prison politics lightweight because that's good. That's none of my business. But at the same time, man, when it's hood news, man, sometimes it ain't good news. You feel me? Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you're able to go out there and move fast with a purpose. Get everything you want coming to you. That's called hustling. Get up, get out, and get something. Do something for your people, man. Don't concern yourself with other people's political makeups of their cities and what they got going on because at the end of the day, it doesn't become you, man. It's not our business. It's not yours. It's not anybody's. We're just going to do our thing day to day and live day to daily. Anyways, with that being said, you already know what it is, man. Hit that like and subscribe if you're feeling this. If not, you can hit that thumbs down heavy as the head that wears the crown. At the end of the day, man, it's all about you and yours and striving to become one with the people. Raza, black and brown, man. It's all love. Whatever you guys got going on, just get, don't worry. I'm over here. Bang, bang. Away from that shit.